Menu. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are going to take a look at the hotfix 6.1.1 We got some bug fixes in the game actually pretty fast So if you watch my video yesterday, you definitely want to watch this one because it will cover some bugs and some stuff that does not exist anymore but before we start, I just wanted to thank you for 10,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. And also 2,000 members in our Discord community. That's that's a lot. Thanks, everybody. Starting over here with the team mode. There was something over here yesterday that is not over here anymore. Like, it's gone. It's actually gone. You know the game mode that we talked about on yesterday's video? I have no idea how to get inside of it again. I'm not sure if it was removed again because nobody seems to be able to get in. So we will have to wait till next week to make sure if it's uh, over here, if it still exists or not. The problem with the held items, it seems to be fixed. So uh, we do have our held items back. And in case you did perfuse a held item, which was the thing that was available, you can come over here, like just click on your held item and we have a perfuse held item over here. And all your items that are supposed to be gone, they're not gone, okay? They are over here, very safe and sound. We cannot perfuse items anymore because this should be a feature that is coming to the next update. Also, shout out to Blacklight that noticed a, like a very cool thing over here the price of red lotus lava these things are actually like we don't know if this is a bug like just like um black light said like we don't know if this is a bug or if this is intentional but like the price of this used to be 150 diamonds for each one now it's at the price of 50 diamonds for each one It's three times lower so if you need any of this just make sure to take advantage of, of it and buy a lot of it right now also remember that Yesterday we talked about the overlord requirement that was increased to level 90. Well, I think they reverted that. So if you are a lower level, uh, starting from level 70, you can still overlord Pokemon. And hopefully on level 90, you will also be able to make your Pokemon resonance. Overlord Sword and Shield also had something very interesting going on that I did not mention yesterday But they had like their uh, third ability secret technique, etc Everything was visible over here people were confused because they could not get those abilities on their Overlord Sword and Shield But just to let you guys know those abilities are not supposed to come on this update They are supposed to be available on the next update. So everything is working beautifully also, still on the topic of Sword and Shield, there's a very cool thing that they do right now, which is, if you are playing on Auto, they actually finally use their group skill if they have the held item. So, no more single target weak attacks. They will use, they will start using their group skill right now, which was on, like, it's honestly an awesome thing for Sword and Shield users. And last but not least, let's talk about Unova. So Unova has been known for being like legit the biggest bug in this game. The biggest bug that we have ever seen in the history of Pokéland. Probably not the biggest, but it's a quite big bug. And one of the things is that uh, in battle, not just the thing of him just one-shotting bosses left and right, in battle, he also inherits the wrong stats. So these are screenshots over here of my previous stream, the stream of uh, a stream of a week ago, where I did a test before the update so that we could see his stats in battle. And we could see, for example, from Overlord Black and Overlord White, even though um, this is basically playing him in a battle without one of the Kyurems, just with a, an Overlord or Resonance White, or just with an Overlord or Resonance Black, or even both. And what happened is, even though both the Kyurems, Black and White, have very similar stats, the stat difference in battle was huge. For example, he would get like a lot of speed from white and not so much speed from black, even though they would have the same speed. And they, when they were together, they even had less speed than just white. So everything was very weird on the last week. So let's give it a test and bring over here. So um, this is the new stats over here. 
So technically after the update, this is the solo as you can as you guys can see it's exactly the same stats with the Kurem on solo. So solo does not was not bugged and he's still working fine. But what about the others? What about Overlord and <laughs> Overlord and Resonance? If he is paired with Overlord Black, what is the difference? If he's paired with Overlord White, what is the difference? Let's go grab over here the, the Overlord Black really quick and we just go and take a look at it. So I just changed some things over here so that it's easier for us to see the stats of the Pokemon. I grabbed over here the Overlord Black from the last week and this is the Overlord Black from this week. Keeping in mind, when I mention Overlord Black, Overlord White, what I mean exactly is pairing Unova with an Overlord Black, pairing Unova with an Overlord White and see if the stats are inheriting correctly. For those who don't know, what I'm exactly actually doing is that a percent of some stats over here on the passive of Unova are inherited from white and black being overlord and resonance so this is the whatever was bugged and that's what we are testing so let's just continue uh, this is the black from last week and let's uh, take a quick look at it so black from last week it had more speed it had more physical attack it had more HP <laughs> so it actually lost stats okay uh so black lost stats okay L let's grab white over here and pull it down okay so let's ignore all of the others uh white from last week compared to this week's white we have less speed we have less special attack as well and much less hp this hp was ridiculous and of course uh less physical attack but this should be normal because he should not inherit physical attack from well, uh, white Kurem. Okay, what about if we put both together? Let's grab over here. You go over there, my guy. And over here. So, last week, this week. So, compared to last week, we got less stats. Like, much less stats. Even though, in a way, this seems a little bit more accurate. Like, I kind of feel that this was fixed. This needs a little bit of testing. This needs a little bit of investigation. But this seems like this is actually the fixed stats. And before he was not, uh, he was completely bugged and nothing was going on. But then we have something new, okay? We have really something new. So let's grab the stats from Resonance Black over here from last week. Okay, we go and grab the resonance stats from last week. Actually, I will just disappear with all of these overlords so that we are not confused. So let's go and um, actually gonna delete it like this. So this is the resonance stats from last week and we are going to grab the resonance stats for, for the others as well. So last week we had we just had more stats in every single situation that's the thing like resonance uh resonance white and both resos at the same time this is what uh unova was inheriting from both resonance at, at the same time and as you guys can see it's much weaker right now and special thanks to to Sai, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce this name, I'm so sorry, but special thanks to this guy who sent me a message on Facebook saying that uh, if I watch, uh, like if I notice, this is a screenshot from my last week's stream before the update and we can see all the buffs over here with the resonance for example. So as you guys uh, know, resonance have in battle speed, the resonance black and white, they have a passive where they get like a lot of in battle stats. Just from the abilities it's not a passive it's uh, it's not just the passive it's also the abilities as well they get a lot of in battle stats and apparently this these stats over here the, these attacks and this speed over here that you guys can see these icons they were all being inherited from resonance black and white but after the update after the fix it seems that unova does not get the in battle stats what this guy is inheriting is honestly just the base stats, not the in battle stats anymore. So uh, I'm sorry to disappoint to those who uh, who enjoy Unova, but he seems a lot weaker now, 
and in a way it feels like it should be how we should be in a way let's go over here equip the black and white i'm gonna put this full screen really quick and let's just compare really quick because unova 240 K HP and the other guys also 240k so everything has the same HP kind of so everything should should have the same HP when you get into battle and if we look at it <laughs> if we look at the side of things this guy is 1.3 million in battle let's just stop the auto battle 1.3 million in battle 1.3 million in battle so technically uh, if we go to the passive, if I remember correctly, it inherits 60% of each of the Kurims. So 120% of 1.3 million, I would say it's around 1.5 something. Yeah, 1.5 million. So if we take in consideration that his solo stats, where is, okay, now where's the solo stats? Yeah, now that's a problem. This is a mess. Um, but I would say that the solo stats is the one where he has the less speed, so should be this one. Yes, 1.3 million HP makes sense. So technically, uh, with both resonances, he goes up to 2.8 million or almost 2.9 million HP. This is exactly what I was saying, around 1.5, 1.6 million extra. So it feels like the inherits or uh, of the, the stats are actually working correctly in a way. It needs a little bit more testing, more investigation, of course. But sadly for the Unova users, I believe this is what is going on today. So yeah, this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.